and the idea on two years has led to a little bit. Okay, not that many people, so you might learn something today. The magic of Ethereum addresses. So my name is Adrien Kubois. I work for Exec as a protocol designer and smart contract expert. But I'm also trying to build simple yet useful tool for this community. This might be one of those. So who has addresses? Wallets and smart contracts. You might know both of those. They look very similar. They are actually the same thing from an EVM point of view, but they are computed differently. The address of a wallet is basically the hash of the public key, the end of the hash of the public key. So it comes from the private key. So if you have a private key, you've got your address. And this address is valid on all networks. This means that you can use your address on NextDAI and mainnet seamlessly. But smart contract is different. When you deploy a smart contract, you've got basically the hash of the creator's address and the creator's nodes. So if the creator is a wallet, then just the node is involved. But if the nonce is not in sync between different blockchain, then the address is different. Also, the actual code is not part of the address, so if you have like a wallet and a nonce, you could deploy any contract, regardless of the code, the address you can predict. And this, knowing this can save your day. So this guy was a hero just because he read the yellow paper. Uh, tokens were sent to an address that was a respect contract on the testnet, but using mainnet assets, and knowing that he was able to put a contract to recover the fund at the right address, because you can send tokens or value to an address that doesn't exist. This is how we do contractual development. So how to have the same address on all the network? I mean, you could use ENS and stuff like that, but if you want at an hexadecimal level to have the same address, you need to deploy using the same wallet and make sure everything is in sync between the network. And so you have to do everything very carefully, and if the creator is like a factory smart contract, this is very dangerous, because if users try to create accounts, and they're doing on one network but not on the other, then the network goes out of sync and there is no way they are going to have the same address for the wallet address, their wallet account on another network. So hopefully there is a new thing, there is more. There is Create2. And Create2 is an opcode that allows smart contracts to deploy other smart contracts. A wallet cannot use Create2, but a smart contract can use Create2. And how Create2 works is that the address is not computed using the nodes. We can get out of sync between chain but using the creator's address, the deployed code, and a salt. And the salt is useful if you want to deploy the same code twice but at different addresses. And this is very interesting because it can be predicted like previously, but the address basically in it contains the code. So if you deploy another smart contract, another byte code, you're never going to get the same address. Also, it doesn't consider the nonce. So if you were to deploy the same deployed code on, with the same salt on multiple blockchain, you will have the same address in the end, provided that the contract that does the deployment uh, has the same address in the first place. And we know that we can do that using the previous technique, which is kind of difficult, but we don't only have to do it once. So basically, that's what I did. I built a very generic Create2 factory. It's a small smart contract. Only thing it does is calls Create2. So you can use it to deploy any smart contract, and if you give it the same bytecode and the same sort, on all the blockchain, we will end up with the same smart contract on all the blockchain. We just have to deploy this factory to as many blockchains as possible with the same address. And that's what I did. So this is the address right here. It's live on mainnet, on Robson, on Ringby, on Cobalt, on Gordy, on Luxo, and I'm going to give away uh, to everybody signed transaction uh, for all the chain IDs from 1 to 16K or 64K, so that you just have to find the wallet that deploys that you run my transaction, and this will deploy the factory to any side chain you want. And that way, this factory can act as the root of a Merkle tree of smart contracts that will all have the same address. That way, we never have to worry about sending tokens to a contract that has the wrong address, because we can make sure that our core contract has the same address on all the network. So thank you for Isaac and Binance to financing that. And if you want to know more, just contact me.